Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video we are going to get our text to print inside of a text box like what we have here. And no matter what size it is, the text will fit in nicely, nice and neat just like with this box here. So before we actually get into the video itself, if you haven't seen my very quick tutorial on nine slices, then a card will pop up right about now and I'll also leave a link to that video in the description and the pinned comment. So if you're ready for this tutorial, then let's jump right in. Going off of the last video, I've already gone ahead and created my nine slice here. It's just a basic text box image. So what we actually need to do is go over to our uh, object text and we're going to give it the sprite, the nine slice sprite. Okay. And with our create event, let me just uh, large, make the text easier to see. What we're going to do, we're going to change a couple of these lines. The first thing is text X and text Y. With this one, we're just going to change it so that it's at X and text Y is Y. Um, the reason that we want to do this is because we actually want to draw the text based on the position of our actual object. So for example, you might have a whole bunch of different uh, UI elements that have text on them and you want to print the text uh, relative to the particular object. The next thing here is the text width. What we're going to do instead of the browser width is we are going to change that to sprite width. All right, with that change, the next thing that I want you guys to do is take a look at this number here. I have it here as 64. That's because in the last video, what we wanted it to do was we wanted our text to print just a little off of the edge of the screen. In this case though, we want a bit of space between the edge of the actual UI piece and our text. So instead of 64, I have decided to make it four. All right, so just something like that. You could also add in a bit of an offset here for text X and text Y. In my case, what I think I'll do is put in plus four for both, just like that. So now we have our offsets uh, set. The next thing is we're not done yet. But the next thing is to go over into the draw GUI section. Here we need to put in a line right at the top and it is draw self. The reason why we need this is because we want to draw the sprite at the bottom and then we want to draw the text on top of that sprite. So if we had this in a different order, it's going to look funny. It's not going to look right. So make sure that you get the order correct. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is just test it out. <laughs> we don't need to do anything else with text X and text Y being set to our, var our variables here. The only thing that we need to do is actually put the object here and let's expand this box out. Um, now this looks a bit funny, but let's see what happens if we try to draw a text. All right, okay, that's fine. Let's, it works, but uh, I'm not sure if nine slice is turned on. There it is, yes, it wasn't turned on, so that's why it looked funny. So now we can see, yeah, if you don't turn on your nine slice in your nine slice section, it won't actually work. So just be aware of that. And now it's fixed. It should look just fine. And there's hello world. And now we can see that our text fits into our actual text box. Now you can change the offset as much as you want. I've got mine set to four, so it's fine. There's one last change that I want to make actually, and that is with the, I want to say the text height, mainly because I want to limit it to the actual height of the sprite, but I don't think that's really an issue. No, it should be fine. This is basically it. So if we create another instance of our object here and we say we want to make it a narrow box, we could do that as well. So I'll make it like that and I'll make the text box like that. Let's try testing our uh, text box now, our scene. Let's see what happens. 
So there you go, it says hello world. And our text fits nice and neatly into the box itself, no matter the size. The limitation with this particular approach is, of course, if your text box is too small, it won't work. It'll just, it'll just <laughs> spill over. So let's, let's leave it at this size and let's see what happens to our text. So we can see Hello World just fits into here. But if we try to go into the next one, it kind of spills over. So just be aware of the limitations of your text box, our little text box system. And I don't think you guys will ever do something like what we see here in the corner. But just be aware that there are limitations to the little system that we've created. All right, so that's about it for this video, guys. It's very quick, very simple. And in the next video, what we're going to do is we will implement this into our RPG system. If you are following that tutorial series, and if you guys are interested in watching first uh, sneak peeks, indie game sneak peeks and let's plays, I have a gaming channel just started and you can follow the links in the description. It's also on my channel page as well. So go check that out, guys, if you want to see more. Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.